Good afternoon. Um, uh, I'll call the uh, December 3rd meeting of the Northampton License Commission to order. Um, Commissioner Campidelli is absent today, but Commissioner Real and I are here. Um, we have, as usual, audio and video recording of this meeting. Um, at this time, I'd like to ask for any public comment on any issues that are not on our agenda. Seeing none, uh, let me move to the first item on the agenda. A report of liquor licensee inspections from building inspector and fire safety inspector. And uh, we have a document here that shows that we have um, inspected everyone holding a license in the city. They have all passed the inspection with some exceptions. Uh, and um, no, no that, I'm sorry, am I misreading this? I'm just going to interject. It says that we have 28 that did not pass inspection. Right, I'm sorry. We have inspected all of them. We have 28 that did not pass inspection. Or they're in various stages of, uh, of uh, adjusting these. Are there anything, is there anything serious that we need to know about before the, um... okay. Mr. Hasbrook. Um, no, I think we're doing we're doing a lot better than we did last year. I don't anticipate um, any of the inspections running into next year. There are um, a couple of establishments that have changed management, and there may be some um, issues with those, but not more than two, I think. And um, there's, I think, some of them have closed, so they wouldn't be. Yeah, one, one of the ones that hasn't passed is yeah. closed. Um, so the two that you think may have a bit, of, bit more of a problem, are they? Well, we're working with them for okay. sure. Um, and so there is no reason why we shouldn't proceed with, um, with our own timetable for renewing the I, I don't think so, and if we do, if we, um, I will come at the first meeting in January. Um, I'll be in touch with um, Ms. Murphy, and I'll come to the first meeting in January with a report on everyone that hasn't um, passed. I uh, will issue temporary certificates if I have a belief that they're on the right track, but I don't expect, I expect that we'll be able to work with the um, I expect we'll be done down to all the two at worst, and I expect we'll be able to work with them. Okay. Great. Uh, no, no, I just wanted to find out if there's anything that, that uh, Mr. Hatcher needs to heads up on it seems like to address that issue. Thank you very much. Great. Okay. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Um, item number six, approval of certain Certification of estimated resident population of 28,549 as of July 10th, 2015, per federal census records of 2010. Uh, we had um, a brief discussion about this at our last meeting. Uh, we questioned the drop in population, uh, but we had that verified through the clerk and the census report that, in fact, the city is below 29,000. We adjusted it, and it's the same as it was last year because they had gone with the federal census last year, and that's what we went with this year. Okay. So, and the federal census is only done every so many years, so we have that as we do the Then uh, I'll make a motion that we approve the um, certification of estimated resident population for the ABCC. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Um, we have a discussion here. This is misnumbered, but we have a discussion here of annual license renewals and discussion of renewal issues. Uh, we're talking here about um, four items in particular. Uh, let me take the first one. Renewal of license for uh, 180, Eclipse at 186 Main Street. This, I recall, being transferred to Convino LLC. 
the application is still pending right. at the ABCC. Uh, I remember she was here and talked about uh, certain bank transactions, a pledge of license, and other things. Everything is in now. It's, we're just waiting for the ABCC. So I, I think the only thing that they need to provide is um, the, the DOR certificate of. Um, Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the, the tax. For, the, for the first um, business, the original business, it had been more than 90 days, so they're requiring a new one, and it's in process. And I spoke with Jan at the ABCC, and he's waiting for it. This is just the DOR compliance yeah. Yeah. Um, document. Okay. So is there anything we need to do in order to make sure the Convino hasn't opened yet? Right, so it's just getting that to the US and the Texas and how to the renewal of that license okay. so that they can sell it. Okay, so it wouldn't come under the renewals here. We will just take a separate renewal vote then. Um, then I'll make a motion to renew the license uh, previously held by Eclipse, now uh, being sought by Convino LLC. I'll second that. Okay. Uh, did you have any questions? No. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, uh, the second one, non-renewal of license by Pinocchio's Pizza by the Slice. Uh, they are not using it. They signed the affidavit saying that they don't care to renew. Okay. And this is a malt and uh, Yeah, it's just a wine, wine and malt. Annual. It was an yeah. annual wine and malt thing. Okay. So I don't think we need to do anything on that. Just accept, we'll just accept their non-renewal. So. Right. Oh, we do? Okay. Um, then I'll make a motion that we accept the, uh, the, uh, the uh, surrender of the uh, license by Pinocchio Pizza. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do we have to sign any of this yeah. here? Uh, the third one is uh, renewal of license by Papa Gino's. This license also was unused. Uh, they are in the process, though. They do want to renew it. They have They're here work. to speak on that. Okay. Uh, somebody from Papa Gino's would like to come forward? Yeah. Hello. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So you have a, I'm sorry, could you identify yourself um, for the record? Ken Malone, the general manager of Papa Gino's. I'm sorry, can you say your name again? Kendra Malamed, M-E-L-A-M-E-D. Okay, and Ms. Malamed, uh, tell us uh, what's been going on at Papa Gino's as far as the service of alcohol. Uh, for the past year, we haven't been using it. We would like to renew it to supplement our dinner service. Mm -hmm. Just um, one regular beer, one light beer, and red and white wine. So you have a license and it was enforced and you paid last year for Correct. renewal. But you just didn't serve anybody? Correct. You didn't have the stuff on the premises Correct. or anything like that. Okay. Um, but you're still in possession of your 2014 license, correct? Correct. Um, so if they have all the renewal paperwork in, um, you know, they would ordinarily come under this. So but do you want us to take a separate vote on this one as well? Only because it hasn't been used. I just looked at those minutes to see how it had been done. Okay. Let's do an abundance of caution and go ahead. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, okay. let's just. I'm just. I'm just. Uh, and move it along. That's okay, right. go ahead. And, make it and I'll make a motion that we uh, renew uh, Papa Gino's license, which has been dormant for uh, the uh, fiscal year 2014, but it's going to be revived That's and okay. used going forward. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So you can just put the license on the wall if you took it down. Mm -hmm start serving right away since you're still current okay. and then in 2015 you'll have a, a new license put up on the wall thank you okay thank, thank you. you okay the fourth one is um Sumar restaurant annual wine and malt uh, the restaurant has been closed however uh, requesting renewal uh, received just a few days ago 2014 they proposed to sell the license is there somebody from Sura who would like to speak yes. to this He's the owner and so Okay, so could you identify him for the record? Uh, his name is Sean Lee. He's the owner of the restaurant. Okay, and you are? Jin. Okay. Your, 
Your father. Yeah, okay. my father. Can you spell your name for me? J-O-H-Y-U-N-K-Y-U-L-E-E-N-G-E. Okay, I understand the restaurant, uh, you had it shut down for a while. Yeah. And uh, you're not going to reopen. No, we're not going to reopen, but we want to keep the uh, vehicle license to try to sell any new buyers, so. Okay. But so they're supposed to come here, but they didn't show. I don't know if they so. They'd have to apply separately for their own license, okay? We can do uh, transfer. They have to come in. Right. So if there's a new owner, you're thinking this is somebody to come into the same space, so they'd operate at the same premises? I, I, I guess that's what I heard, yeah. Okay. So if somebody comes in and buys your restaurant, and they want to use, uh, they want to have an annual wine and malt license, um, they would have to do that. Uh, we can we can take a request for a transfer, although in the case of a wine and malt licenses, licenses, these are usually just surrendered, and then the new person will come in and make a new application for it. Is there anything to preclude us that you know of in the history of this place from doing that? No, I, I explained to them that the, what they would sell it for may not be any more than what they would get for it, and they have no premise at this point, so mm -hmm. I didn't know what, whether or not to they. They paid for the renewal fee. I'm mm -hmm. sure I could get it um, back for them because it hasn't been renewed. I'm guessing, but since we're not going to use it. Well, I was. My, I have a question. Uh, just because you had mentioned that the potential buyers were supposed to be here yes. this evening, um, if we were to, can we put this over to the January meeting? No, because the renewals have to be into the ABCC before January. Um. My point, although we can't give them official advice to the singers, they probably don't need to bother renew. You are not going to be operating a restaurant at that address or operating another restaurant, correct? No. Um, so you won't have any need of an annual wine and malt license. Unlike an all alcohol license, I'm not sure that, and again, this is unofficial, I'm not sure that you would be able to sell it to whoever took over uh, the restaurant down there. Um, you mean so, just we just lose the license? Well, they they would have to apply anyway. Okay. Right. We have to approve them. We have to yeah. somebody who take we, over. Yeah, we 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 have to approve them. You can't right. just give it to them and right. they I, I, set up. So they have to come in and do the application. The distinction here I'm trying to make is between a a wine and beer license. Mm -hmm and an all-alcohol license. Um, they, may f they may find it um, uh, just as straightforward to come in and apply for a new annual wine and malt, a new seasonal wine and malt license, which we would then convert to annual. Um, but however, we could wait a minute. This is annual. Wait a minute. This is but this this is annual. It's already been converted. Annual, so they'd be applying for a signal, and when they apply, right, they wouldn't and they be have to, able to activate it right away. Right. So they're, that's why they're. But was it, is this one of the ones that was converted already? They they have an annual one now. But it, but had it been converted from seasonal before? Do you know whether this license was converted? It was actually the maybe get the first one is seasonal and then was the annual. I know. Yeah. Alright, okay. Alright, All right. Then, then I think that, yeah, they should renew. Okay. And then the other person can. I just thought there was an okay. approval for that. Yeah. They don't have a premise right now, but I don't think that's going to be the decision. Um, but I they are in process of. Right, they're, they're in the process. process. You, do, you do right. have some, there is someone coming into right. that space. I think if, as long as we've got yeah. that assurance. So I wish they were here and if we could hold it off to January, I would, but. Let's just go ahead and renew it. Okay, but the, you'll have to pay the renewal fee. Mm -hmm. You know that, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay, and that's... You did, you're all set with that, yeah. But it, it's, then the other, um, the new owner would come in, right. apply for a license. He'd want to transfer the license that you have now then to him. Right. But we'd have to treat it, um, you know, him as a new person right, right. and all that. And, 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 and the ABCC will have to, the, the state will have to mm -hmm. approve, approve the transfer. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so they'll have to go through a lot of stuff 
right. to get it. This is not a but not quite so much as if we renew it now. So, okay. okay. I just want to make, make that clear. Can you make a motion? Yes. Okay. I yeah. thought you were just No, 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 no. Go no. for <laughs> Okay. Uh, I'll move that we approve the renewal of the license uh, for, two, uh, for uh, uh, 2015 for Sue Raw Restaurant. Um, and pending uh, sale of the restaurant. I'll second that motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. So you'll be renewed for 2015, mm -hmm. but have the, uh, have the new person, assuming that they continue to want to buy the place, come in as soon as possible okay. to apply for this All license right. uh, themselves. Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you, you very much. Okay. Um, Okay, we have item number seven, 2015 renewals of um, Common Picture, Auto Amusement, uh, Automatic Amusement Device, Entertainment License, Inholder, Lodging, Class 1 Car Dealership, Class 2, Class 3 Car Dealership. So, um, where are we at with these? Do we have documents or we're waiting for documents? And do we have any problems with anyone that who has this class of license that we need to talk about? I have no issues to discuss. I was just hoping to request approval pending the receipt of all the appropriate documents so that as soon as they come in and give me all the documents, I can give them the license, which is what is happening every year. Yes. Yeah, so it's right up there, pending receipt. No, as long as we make the motion, uh, I, I will move that we uh, grant approval of all of the licenses listed under item 7, pending receipt of all necessary and appropriate documents. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Um, item number 8, request for change of manager, uh, Sol Rain Incorporated DBA Joe's Cafe. Are you Megan Sullivan? I am Megan Sullivan, yes. Okay. Welcome. The new generation takes Yes, over. exactly, exactly. <laughs> Tell us uh, what's happening at Joe's. So uh, in July 2011, I took over full operation of the restaurant as well as owner and title of president uh, for my father, John Sullivan, who is now the manager. Uh, so just putting in a request to change uh, the title of manager of the liquor license to myself okay. for my father. Right. And did you had a corporate uh, board vote to appoint the yes. manager? Yes. Do we have all the documents from the yes, Okay. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. Make a motion. Make a motion to approve the change in man management. Manager. Manager. Okay. Then I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, item number nine, request for change of manager and change of director of uh, World War II Veterans Association of Hampshire County. Um, at 50 Con that. Street. Yeah, yeah. Postpone until January meeting. Okay. We will do that. Item number 10, request for change of manager, Table and Vine Incorporated, 136 North King Street, proposed manager, Ron on Hartman. Hi, could you identify yourself for the record? Renan right Hartman, store director, North Hampton Big Y. Okay, and um, so you work at uh, Table and Buy and Big Y now? Yes, and yeah, in the store. I run the whole store. Okay, and um, uh, who was your manager before? Uh, Don MacGyver. Okay, and this Mr. MacGyver was running the whole store before, now it's gone? Or? Yeah, he, he doesn't work in the store. That's who the license was under, Don McGuire, who was part of Table and Vine. And uh, tell me, um, have you uh, had uh, experience managing a package store and sale besides the uh, experience at, uh, at Big Y, Table and Vine? Have you I've never run a package store, per se. I've been running Big Y's for a while. Mm -hmm. This is my first one with full liquor license. Right. Um, but, uh, I have had my tips training and done all the, those things that I needed to do. Okay. Um, and I've been here since January. Do you have a um, uh, you have a staff at uh, at Big Y who sort of specialize in the in the in the in the, uh, the liquor department yes. there, right? Yes. Yeah. I have my own employees just for table and wine section. Yes. Okay. 
Do you have any questions? I do not have any questions. Okay. Um, and we have all the documents yeah. and, uh, from Big Y from yeah. corporate. Okay. Then uh, I'll make a motion we approve the change of manager to Mr. Hartman. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I was told that maybe from you, they received the payment um, for the state, but I also need to bring a $25 money order. Yeah, for oh, me. To you. Um, for the town, I guess. Yeah. I still want a question related to this. How many other, there's only three big lies that can have a, a liquor a, a packet store license, right? Yes. This is one. Where are the other two? Um, well, Greenfield is hopefully expanding. I think with the, the laws, the, the new laws, again, I don't know yeah. all the laws, but um, I believe there was added ones. We have a table and buy them in West Springfield, mm -hmm. and uh, then Greenfield has beer and wine, no liquor. Okay. Yeah. And none of the ones in Chicopee or No, um, I think the license just expanded, so I believe we were just approved for Wilbraham, too. Just in. Any more questions? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Academy of Music. Okay. Back again. Okay, item number 11, application for short-term wine and malt licenses from the Academy. We have um, uh, one, two, three dates, January 10th, January 17th, and January 23rd. Allison, how are you? I'm good, Harry. Good. Can you tell us what you're doing? Sure. Um, these are all January events, as you see, and probably our only wine and beer events for the next few months. The early spring tends to be more youth oriented. So, um, in January we have uh, a lot of order. We have uh, Valley Rock Choir doing their CD release party on January 10th. So we just want to do wine and beer concessions, um, pre-show and an intermission. Signature Sounds is coming back in January 17th with their Back Porch Festival. So same thing there and. Um, another comedy show with a national comedian um, on January 23rd. And I note uh, your request for a waiver of the fee mm -hmm. and uh, that all your documents as usual are in order. I have no other questions. I have uh, I'll make a motion then to approve the short term wine law licenses for January 10th, January 17th, and January 23rd. I'll second that motion. All those in favor? With a fee waiver. With a fee waiver. Okay, all in favor, aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item number 12. Ms. Martinez, item uh, number 12 is a chapter for conversion of seasonal alcohol, annual alcohol license per chapter 144 of the Acts of 2008, all juice uh, company incorporated, doing business as Bistro Lake Raw. Um, so the manager will continue to be your husband? Yes. Okay. And um, and uh, I caught you coming in, and I asked you if you had started to serve out file call yet, but you haven't. You intend to tonight. Tonight. Okay. Yep. And um, we have to uh, have this conversion um, voted on today. We have to wait ABCC approval. So, and Sydney explained this to you, I think we had a conversation about this, correct? Um, the ABCC will get this, and if they don't, they don't approve it before. We talked about it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, right. still have the one in so. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's all, that's all clear. We, yeah. we, will, we will do this right now. We will wait for them. If they get it into you before Christmas, great. And if they don't, <laughs> we'll, you'll just have to. Uh, yeah. Postpone, postpone it for for a bit. Yeah. But for now, um, you would, you would be all right. So, um, I'm sorry. Do you, no, I don't no, understand what. No, I'm just looking at form 43 and 16C, the things that we need to sign. Right. All right. Then, uh, did we send out the cards on on the 16C? Yeah. Matter. Okay. And did we get any responses to that? No. Then I'll make a motion that uh, granting this license will not cause any uh, harm to any nearby uh, educational or spiritual institution. I'll second. I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. 
Uh, and um, now we'll need a motion then uh, to uh, to convert the seasonal alcohol to annual alcohol. I'll make a motion to uh, convert seasonal all alcohol to annual al annual all alcohol okay. uh, with respect to the Stroll of Rock. Okay, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, and we have a 443 minutes. Is there anything else we need to do for Ms. Martinez today? Um, okay. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Item number 13, uh, request for change of hours, uh, the green room. Uh, Mr. Sewer, uh, you want to uh, do the special 2 a.m. closing under the special 2 a.m. for the afternoon? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, how, how is it going there? Good. Yes, how many, very, well, very well received. Okay. How many nights a week have you been in Wednesday through, uh, Wednesday through Saturday presently. Okay. And uh, you want to do the 2 a.m. Uh, closing? As all the other places that I have 2 a.m. at all the other establishments that are, you know, not restricted to the night. Um, mm -hmm. I'm fairly certain we'll probably just use it as people are requesting um, the weekends. We have a lot of industry people, service people that are coming in and they get there at midnight and then it's last call a half hour later. So um, my sense is we'll probably just use it Fridays and Saturdays, but as we're getting busier now, Thursday nights, we might use it on Thursday. Um, we own the, the block that the bar is in, so we're respectful that there's um, residences up, upstairs, so I have to be aware of, of that. So I'm not quite sure yet, but I, I think we'll probably use it just weekends for now. Okay. And you'll have the um, the special 1 a.m. notice and all the other things that, that the MPD requires yes. for the extended hours. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions for Mr. Seward? Um, then I'll make a motion to approve the um, extended hours for uh, 2628 Center Street, the Green Room. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Um, uh, we have one more item. And okay. Give me a second. Uh, um, uh, actually, no. Let me just take it right now. I'm sorry. Okay. Come, come forward. I'm going to move new business then. You are new business. No one expected that. Um, Who, uh, could you unexpected to me. Sorry? Unexpected to me. Okay, could you identify um, yourself? I'm Steve Shea from 8 Home Incorporated. We hold the all alcohol package store license on premises. And um, and where, where is that package? It's in Florence, on 84 Maple Street in Florence. Next to the new building that's going up. You know, the building, building center right. Florence. Mm -hmm. it's, it's across the street from there. So the name of the package store, I'm trying to remember. Doyle's. Doyle. But you would have it as a... Oh, Doyle's, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. God, no. I've forgotten that was there. Yeah. Sorry. So... Oh, I'm sorry. You, you, I'm you're Steve Tim Shea's Shea. son? I'm Tim Shea's son. That's I right. am the president of 84 Maple Incorporated. And um, so it came to my attention in the um, like re license renewal process that there was an issue, a potential issue with... Uh, real estate tax lien being attached to the renewal of this license. And um, I missed a piece of correspondence that, this, that uh, I think it was you who sent me, or, or this. I did. You did, okay, yeah. Uh, until today, I found it in a, in a pile of older mail from October 31st. And um, so I'm just, um, so I'm, I'm wondering what the basis is for withholding the license as 84 Maple doesn't own any real estate and tax can't have any. I thought we talked about that before when you came in. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I got here a little late. I, no, I got here when you were talking about I was in the office, but um, I had sent the letter. Oh, right. Way up. 
Yeah. In the mayor's office. Yeah. Okay. I had sent the letter about the needing to clear up taxes before so that the license could be renewed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then since then it came to my attention from the treasurer's office that they're two different companies, they're two different entities, although they're the same person. One company owns the liquor license and one owns the real estate, so they didn't think that we could Yeah. I didn't in recall in the past. Um, there was the same thing where uh, you're, you're, you know, one individual or one corporation or one, you know, yeah. corporation with one sole member had a separate entity which owned the license, and then right. a separate entity which owned the real estate. This was a, this was years and years ago, and in fact, the city did require them to pay their taxes before renewal. So. I believe I, I can't. Okay. I can't say that. Well, so, my. So, um, well, let me finish your. Why don't you finish your comment? Right? No, no, no. That, that's all I'm saying. The treasurer, but the treasurer. I was just saying that I recall something. But you said the treasurer's office says. The treasurer's you, office said that, and then later today, um, the tax collector's office said that Mr. S Attorney Seawalt was going to contact me if there was an issue, and I hadn't heard from him. So. Seawall represents the city? He said city solicitor. Okay. Um, well, this may not, my concern is, and I would have had my attorney be here, but, but he was busy doing other things, is um, we don't feel there's a legal basis for withholding the license in this case uh, simply because. Uh, 84 Maple Incorporated, which is the holder of the license, does not own any real estate. It's also a Chapter C corporation, it's not even a Chapter S corporation. And um, so, it's, as far as my understanding is, a Chapter C corporation is not liable for its officers' debts or its stockholders' debts. So, I just, I'm, I'm here today to just find out what your sense of it is and whether we need to pursue this or inquire into this further? Well, if we're waiting for an opinion from the city solicitor, say, that's I'm going to step in and please, sit. Please, you, you know more about this. Yeah, than yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 former I, city solicitor. Okay. I'm just simply going to say we, we need to make a formal request for Attorney Seawald to research this issue because liquor licenses, unlike regular debts, okay. are treated differently by the ABCC. So I want I want as far as a member of this commission, I want the commission to have uh, a legal opinion about okay. whether, whether, whether or not we, as a city, have the right to, okay. to enforce this or not. And well, right now, I don't think that we know. I, I don't know. That's why I brought up the thing yes. in the past. Yeah, because I recall past something, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but I, 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 it was so long okay. ago, I can't remember, Mr. Shea, but, but we'll, we'll, we'll tell them. Okay, and that's... We, we would follow. We would follow my attorney just suggested that, that I ask you know, if there was um, some regulation or piece of law that was relevant, it sounds to me like you were saying that perhaps it's the ABCC's purview. That is what that is what I'm. That's why I'm asking for a legal okay. opinion from the city solicitor. Well, I'll, I'll let him know that you're waiting on that, and then we'll revisit. That, that, that's great. Outside of session. That's great. We we would follow that you know that guidance anyway, both from our guide here, our city solicitor, and also the ABCC. Uh, so you know. Um, but we don't I, know off the top yeah, of our yeah. head. We and don't I want to do anything. We're, we're, I, understand, I understand your point. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. we need we need guidance. Got it. Can I um, ask if you, I think we need to have a special hearing anyway at some point this month? Can we add that to that special hearing so that it's a public? As long as we sure. can get get what we need from Attorney Seawalt. Yeah. Yes. If he'll give us that, then okay. yeah, we'll just because you'll need to renew this. It's, it's if we clear this up, you'll you'll want to renew this, so we'll have a special thing to renew it for you if, if in fact we're okay to to renew your license oh because it's okay because we're in that season where we have to renew it got it by a certain date and it hasn't been renewed and therefore it has to be renewed in session uh, we'll, okay we'll, right. we'll do it we'll do a special so we're willing to add it on do we have to do a special meeting anyway this month okay so we're willing to add you on Super. as part of that agenda and um, even if we didn't have it, you know, if we were saying, yeah, the, yeah, we're doing the this other, thing. The other way this gets resolved, I mean, this is a matter of, you know, 
uh, illegality, but the other matter that the, the, that the particular issue about the license renewal being resolved is that we, if the property owner of the Timothy Ishe Trust enters into an agreement with the city, in which case this question would become somewhat moot. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But, but I wanted to bring this up at this meeting because it's potentially salient. Okay. You know, we don't want to be in a position where on the 31st of December we can't operate. If of course. we are cleared yeah. to renew this license, yeah. we will we will do everything we can to renew it for you before the 31st. Should, um, can I hear from can someone from your, the city? Can you write your yeah. phone number and your email in here and I yeah. will keep you posted? Sure. I've reviewed all three. Can we do them I have. Yes, I have two. I do you have, have any changes? I do not have any changes. In well, then I will take a motion. I will hereby move that I have reviewed September 3rd, 2014, October 1st, 2014, November 3rd, 2014 minutes and have uh, to approve them as written. I will second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Thanks, Mr. Shaw. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Have a good evening. Okay, uh, other new business, um, special violation hearing, King Street Liquor. Um, I don't even know if I was supposed to have a drink in here, but I spilled a little hot chocolate under the desk, and I don't know who to tell. I'm sorry, then. I'm sorry. We're just, you know, we're just yanking that license right me. now. <laughs> Thank you for telling me. Right there. Uh, okay. I'll get it after. I'm sorry. Um, okay. talking about the week of the 15th? Yes, what? So we would do this violation hearing and then Shay's thing? Yes. If you, assuming we get okay. And, and you said what days of the week? I want to say it was the 15th, 16th, and 17th. 17th, no can do. Um, I was going to say uh, the 15th, the morning is out, the afternoon, and we usually do these. It would be at 4 anyway. Yeah, I was going to say Monday or Tuesday, fine. So, Monday or Tuesday Is that would be okay, okay with me. Yeah, 17th on the stage. Okay, so, so why don't you go ahead and let us know. Do you want to, so the police were okay with any of those? Do you want to do the 15th so you don't have to come see before you go away? Sure. Yeah, that would okay. that, be fine. Okay. Um, what, what's best for Russ's guys earlier in the afternoon or later in the afternoon? When, are the, when is the shift change? Or is he bringing, he is he, he's, or is he just coming in? No, he's sending three officers, I think. He's sending three officers. Is he bringing in one one of the um, underage people, or just have, or are we just getting affidavits? Okay. I guess that, that, all right, it doesn't really matter. Really we can do it, you know, we can accept, we can accept you as, as a witness. We'll see if he's oh. I think he's, he's having them all come and come through it all. He, the, I think he's, the underage? Yeah. Oh, no. I okay. don't know about the Okay, it doesn't matter as long as we have their... You don't get their names or anything. So. As long as that's part of the record? It, yes, in okay. there. Oh, oh okay. boy. It's 16. They did it on. Well, let's read on. There's more in November. And they did November surveillance, and we had multiple... Oh, so the, there's a surveillance of yeah, other people. Yeah. Smith. Oh my God. 
Okay, so we'll go with the 15th at 4. Does that work, or do you want to do 4.30? Does that work better for you? Uh, either 4 or 4.30, whatever's better for us. What about you? On, on Monday, the uh, 10th? 15th. 15th. I'm sorry. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at the wrong week. The 15th at 4 would be fine with me. Okay. I'd just soon get out of here earlier rather than later. So. Okay. She didn't state a preference for time. Okay. Well, they have shift change at three, so I, I figure they can. Yeah, four is good. Yeah. Okay. Do um, we have to have a motion for that hearing date or no? No. No. no Administrative. Just, Okay, so the uh, items then will be um, the violation hearing, and uh, if uh, if we get guidance from the city solicitor on Doyle's package store matter, uh, let's hear then that we'll first. Put him, right, I was about to say, yeah, yeah let's, put him first. let's put him first so he doesn't have to hang up on that stuff. Um, since it should be pretty straightforward. Okay. If, I, mean, I just was, know that um, she's going to go with Alan's request to be first. This well, will be short enough. Okay. The, the, this thing will be short enough for him. We deny so his request. Okay. If, if, <laughs> if Alan says, yes, we can, then we just do it. Okay. Not, you know, okay. take a minute. Yeah. So, um, can we find any other new business here? That's it. Okay. Um, I make a motion that we adjourn this meeting. That all in favor. Aye. 